is time now for our executive edge. The IRS says the amount of uncollected taxes will be in the trillions over the next decade, and it's likely because of wealthy tax cheats. Robert Frank, who else has that story this morning? Robert, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Just a gorgeous shot there this morning. The Treasury Department saying the amount of uncollected taxes could reach $7 trillion over the next decade. And the main reason is wealthy tax evaders. Most of the loss comes from underreporting income. But the number of so-called high-income non-filers, those are people who make more than $100,000 a year and don't file or pay their taxes on time, that number is surging 50% just over the past decade. The IRS inspector general looked at a sampling of non-filers between 2014 and 2016, found that the IRS would have collected $10 billion from just 300 of them if there were better compliance. Audit rates of people making more than a million dollars have fallen by more than 60 percent over the past decade. And another big source of uncollected taxes is pass-throughs. The number of pass-throughs has exploded in recent years, and they avoid an estimated $200 billion a year in taxes. And that's because pass-throughs have very few reporting requirements and are rarely audited. The Treasury is saying of the more than 4 million pass-throughs that filed in 2018, only 140 were audited. Biden is now proposing an additional $80 billion for the IRS over the next decade. He wants to double the staff and require more account information from banks, crypto exchanges, and payment services. And Andrew, this goes back to something you and Becky have often said, which is yep. let's collect what we are already owed before we start exactly. talking about raising rates. So the, the question I was going to ask you, Robert, is if, in fact, the Biden administration were to put more money uh, towards the IRS and there were more investigators and the like, would they be able to retroactively go back. How many years can you go back as the IRS to try to collect the past taxes, not just future? Yeah, that, that's a good question. I think in some cases they have gone back as far as 10 years. Uh, I don't know what the statute of limitations are, but but they can go back and they often do uh, when they when they find these things. But but again, you know, the IRS, for every dollar they spend on auditors, they get four dollars back. So from a bipartisan point of view, it's very hard to argue that that's not a good investment. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.